Man, guys, day two up here in Phoenix, man. To say yesterday was a busy day is like an understatement. I'm not even exactly sure where ex where I left off yesterday. I think I was gonna try to take you guys along with my buddy and do some crazy stuff, but. You know, obviously they they have their missions and things going on like that, so. I wasn't allowed to do that. I did partake in like his entire day, which it's it's just phenomenal. Like you see these uh, Sicario movies, Sicario, like, uh, and I I'm a fan of those kind of movies, like the cartel stuff or the the war on drugs and and all these kind of shows. And and my my buddy, he lives it. So you know, he took me along. We met some interesting people. Did some very interesting, like, kind of blew my mind things. And you know, mad props to the homie, and I just I can't believe. It. And I told him straight up yesterday, I was like, man, it's hard to believe that out of all the people that do this kind of stuff, that you do it because he's a freaking moron. <laughs> and obviously, we crack up about it and stuff like that. But man, so I wasn't able to take the camera, unfortunately. But you know, it's a truly a freaking beast as memory that I, or uh, you know experience that I'm gonna carry on forever because it, it was it was truly something uh, special. But yeah, so long day, got back to his pad late at night, exhausted because, you know, we worked essentially all, all his shift and uh, it was it was it was a lot. Day two, starting it off right. Boom, need some coffee in my life. Just waiting up, uh, waiting up for Damien to finish the car. He said uh, be at a shop at around 10. Uh, it's nine now. So like I'm hoping that, you know, I get some good news, like he'll be done a little bit sooner because then I got to rush down to MTS have them knock it out and do all that stuff and it's not just springs they're gonna valve and all that stuff to the um limit straps and then rush to yuma obviously so we can go and enjoy ourselves down there we're doing a pretty big night ride and and then i'm leading so i wanted to get down there in time for me to do kind of like want to do something a little different we always kind of follow the same sort of trails down there and in, uh, in uh, yuma in the, in the summerton area uh, but I want to do something a little bit different. So I wanted to get down there a little bit earlier so we can or so I can uh, go and check it out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, things go my way and I can uh, be down back in Yuma, Summerton with time for me to do it. But I had to let one side out because I am pretty exhausted. So <laughs> here we are. Let's see what what the homie has. These UTVs, man, it's pretty wild. Like how crazy they've taken over they're everywhere 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 wow i thought that was mine i was like man there's still a lot of stuff missing on that bad boy but i should be in there somewhere you i, I seen it yeah. a lot of good out. stuff here My boys would probably like this. Yeah. Yep. Super excited. Try these bad boys out. Mm -mm -mm. So a lot of people were asking me how I mounted like this uh, Baja designs and stuff. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit more. I had to freaking get a new hood unnecessarily because there was like some misunderstanding between my pops. So originally these Baja designs, they come with like a pretty big L-shaped thing. And my dad, for some reason, I don't know if he tried to make it work somewhere back here, like I think on these bolts. So it set the scoop up or the, the bar up real high. So he thought, oh, well, that's what he wants. So just cut the freaking hood to make it work. Well, obviously that's not what I wanted. So, you know, nothing crazy. Obviously I explained to him better and he made these little brackets, made it work tucks down in there nicely now obviously and then even then i didn't really care for the gray i don't know why the dynamics come with those now or why this model did because in my opinion does this not look like way freaking cleaner god damn oops like look at that oh murdered out they're finishing up some stuff on the exhaust they obviously got my clutch kit in all my radio stuff is in. They're knocking out my battery. I guess just put the freaking 
miscellaneous crap back on. Baby turbo. So I'm here at Side by Side Addicts just waiting for them to finish my card somewhere back there. So I'm just minding my own business, you know, looking at random stuff. I come across these, take one. Custom Wheelhouse. So Custom Wheelhouse, they own like multiple companies and like Tenzer and, uh, uh, oh, there you go, Method, Tenzer, GMZ. So, you know, I'm just like flipping through the stuff, all offsets, Method's badass wheels, you know, like Tenzer tires, my favorite. And I come across the GMZ section. Would you look at that? And I was talking to Damien, the owner here at Side by Side Addicts. He says that the dealers have a magazine that you flip to literally page two or, you know, somewhere like that. And boom, my car's in the background and with like all the table of contents and stuff like that. I was like, get freaking out of here. And I was supposed to get some copies of these magazines, but I don't know what the heck happened to that. So I miss you, baby. Mwah. You know what it is? So damn, I went with like the high engagement spring on this uh, clutch kit. I think it engages at like 22 or something, 2200 RPMs. And oh my God, it's kind of a freaking pain in the ass to be honest. It's like weird. Like when you try to give it throttle, it doesn't engage very smoothly. I know I did this for two step purposes. Like when I go to do that launch control, but it's kind of rough. Freaking exhaust all filthy. Got my shocker though, once I get this these shocks done i'm excited about the rugged too i've never had it so very 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 anxious to use it pretty cool even you know my wife pushed to talk boom obviously i have mine and stuff you can see mine and this one like the difference in the ride height and that's the thing that i love man once you get these shocks done they're freaking beasts i was actually gonna go get some jimmy johns because I actually love their sandwiches a lot. I think they're like probably my favorite, like even more than uh, Jersey Mike's or obviously the god awful Subway and stuff. But on my way, I passed a sign and it was like heaven sent. So boom, Waffle House it is. It's fire in here. And you have the most ghetto people here, nasty drugs, and I don't know, they can cook my eggs with cocaine. I don't care. That shit is <whistles> A1, homies. So there she is folks the stance is super nice um my boy danny's coming we're gonna go and shoot a little bit he got himself a new little drone so we want to go test it out and get you guys some more fire stuff we tried some like new combination mts did and they went a little bit st stiffer tougher on the spring rates uh obviously for me jumping um so I think it's pretty freaking close, but I think it's just a tad too stiff. So that's something that um, they were talking to me about, about some minor adjustments that I can make and kind of make, help myself a little bit. But um, I don't know if that's going to fully do the trick or what we got to do, but super freaking awesome. They, uh, the owners gave me their personal numbers. They said, call me, text me, let me know how all this stuff works. Um, and then, you know, we can go from there. So. To me, that was something that was pretty badass. Uh, the customer service is obviously why we go with MTS. They treat us very, very well, or all their customers very, very well. So very excited to 
to be on board. Boom. So we did everything, the sand craft straps too, because the, the shocks start to freaking like overextend over the course of time and then you get that nasty clank that a lot of people talk about. So I'm gonna rinse it real quick, get it kind of looking nice for the little shoot.